Greetings everyone, this is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions. And before I go on to do my next video talk show, I am stopping by from my immediate area off Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, the one and only, the famous Bendix Diner, as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld Netflix series, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. That's right. It is in my close area, and, and it, I love it here. Outstanding food, outstanding coffee, and I will go in soon before I go on to do my next show. Okay. James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions here. And uh, aside from the famous Bendix Diner in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, Route 17 South, right behind the famous Teterboro Airport where everyone with private jets lands who wish to visit New York City. I, we are right next door, directly next door to the famous Bananas Comedy Club in the Holiday Inn on Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey. And there it is. The famous Bananas Comedy Club with a very highly rated Gabriel's Restaurant. That's what I'm calling Jackie. I told her three years ago. What insurance does your mother have? Well care. That's it. And and uh, Medicare, Medicaid. Both. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. But the point is. Wait, no, I, no, no. I no, told no, her. Topic. I've got to know this for Jackie. Okay. She's on Medicare, Medicaid, and well care. Yeah. You sure? Yes. I think you have well care. I also was in D.C. on Saturday night, August seventh. But I was at a small gathering at Becky's house. God bless you. You can read Matt, tiny Denise, microfish. This Jack. isn't tiny. To you it is. You write for billboards. <laughs> this is not tiny. Yeah. Some people day. type really well. I type lousy. Yeah, yeah you know. Mm -hmm. Well, they're going to get Eileen. She says loud, but she's got wax in her. It's a candy <laughs> here. So what does that say? So, uh, no, I mean, every year I, I told my sister, you cannot put an air conditioner in an elderly person's bedroom. Cold well, it doesn't air. matter. You live there. She doesn't want you to turn it off. For the night. I do, and and I, you know what? I I rather have the hallway fan on than having cold air in a woman's room. This yeah, is the you're third. There at night, your sister is not. I know. I shut. I shut it off. Turn it off. This is the third time she got pneumonia, and this is the worst. Third? I didn't know she had it before. Yeah, she had it before. Come on, you all are doing something wrong here. I turn it off. My sister insists. Put it on. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm like, I pay the rent. No, Put it on. No, this is not right. Well, obviously something's wrong. This is not right. And the nurse dropped the ball. I'm sorry. She, no, I, I told her. I wish I could call back. Come on, man. I've got... no. Uh, this is the first time I heard this guy talk so much. Uh, he doesn't matter. It's so important right I, now. I'm not interested in yeah. anybody, anybody who's buddies with Trump. I have no interest in. Lifting weights. Oh wow! Basketball. Lifting weights. That's not important, Jimmy. Your mom's a more important right now. Come on, you're getting you keep getting off topic, and I keep pulling well, you back. Well, well, I'm I'm trying I'm trying to pacify my mind. You yeah. can't, but you do that about other things. You always get off topic. Stay focused. I know, I know but he said something. I don't care what he said. I, it doesn't matter. He's not, he's not going to help your mom. Okay? No. Automatic. Still is. In the summer of 1981, I had worked You have to listen when I tell you things. Mm -hmm. You think I'm going to give you bad advice? And if I don't know something, I'm going to tell you I don't know. I have to find well, out. Well, you know, you know why I end up bucking heads with her? She has power of attorney. Well, that she shouldn't have it. How does she get it? She doesn't know what she's doing. At the time, the last lawn cuttings in the summer of various lawns... To know it all, Scorpio, this one. Mm. I played in a lot of summer league basketball. It's Jackie Cole. Come on, Georgetown man. Prep team at night. Blair High School I hate waiting for calls. I don't like yeah. it. Many well, you, you left the detailed message. I mean, you know. No, no, I spoke get back to her. To I said, can I call you when I get to McDonald's? And, you know, she goes, yes. I said, I called me when I sat down. I'm waiting. I said, yeah. Jesus, people, come on. 
She's probably at the office or something. No, I don't leave a detailed message. You should never leave a detailed message. Never do that. Don't do that? No. Oh, I leave the Gettysburg Address. When That's you... stupidity. Well, you save time that way. No, get to your point. This is Jimmy Madonna calling. I'm going to talk about something. Call me right away, please. Bye-bye. Don't say, well, I want to discuss this. I want to do that. No. Never give details on the phone. Well, this way it's, no. it, it saves um, energy when they call you. It bores people to death. Well, let me tell you something. You don't, they, yeah. you don't yak on the phone. You don't yak on the phone. End of argument. Only when you have a Leave significant... Message, please call me back. Only, I've got something important right. to tell you or I need to ask you. That's it. I've got other people that do that. And I'm like, stop it. I'm like, stop leaving such a long message. You don't do that. Said, oh, which one? I said, what's wrong with all you? you this insane desire to talk too much, are you? And then they fill up your. What happens? They fill up. They fill up your. Make your point. No, but they fill your voicemail. Up. Not mine, because I get. I go, right, I go right. Delete message. No, I won't. No. You ever call somebody and it says voicemail is full? You know what I did with Jackie? On every call, she goes. You know, Billy. What you do is. No, this is Billy. Nothing wrong. Give me a call, please. Or, this is Billy. I've got some bad news. Please give me a call. Bye. That's what you say. You don't give the whole message. That asshole, the old guy Rizzy, when Peter committed suicide two years ago. Billy just called me. Peter Peter killed himself and committed suicide. You don't leave a message like that on the phone recording? What is wrong is with all of you? Is Rizzy the Popeye dude? No, that's that's Popeye. <laughs> oh Jesus. What is wrong with everybody? I tell them over there when we talk, they said, you're, Billy, you're, you always give us great advice. I said, when I tell you something, it's, I said, I'm nobody's fool. I wish you were planning a huge corporation, building, whatever. I said, I've never been a fool. I was, I was chatting with people in the doctor's office. They were telling, they were complaining about how millennials are today. Oh, everybody. And they couldn't bad. get over everybody. Hey, I talked to a guy this morning. And he, 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 that, there was an older, an old, a middle-aged man with a, with, a, with a blazer on. Yeah. I held the door open for him. They don't say a word. He didn't say a word. No, thank you. what I told people, a guy this morning. He was, you're exactly right. I said, what's good? He could answer me, my point. And this son of a bitch couldn't say thank you. I held the door. I, know, I went through that today. A guy did it too. I don't care. That's over and over. He walked through. He's an asshole. End of argument. He's a moron. I told him, I told him. So what's good? Oh, you're negative. Not negative. I'm facing reality. What's good? This is this is why I mean. Look, look, look me in the eye. What's good? You can't say anything, can you? can't think of anything. I said, get your head out of your ass and stop pretending everything is beautiful because it's not. You've got missing children, murdered children, dismembered bodies, this, that. Molestations of children. Uh, well, beyond children. I mean, it's just nothing's uh, good. Uh, human trafficking, which. Oh, I know, I know, no, but nothing is good is my point. Nothing is good. Yeah, well, we could talk. People have got to face reality and facts, and they don't want to. The bottom line is they play ostrich. Get your head out of the hole in the sand. Stop pretending nothing is going on. This is why I respect. This is why I respected what shares told David Letterman. When somebody asked me how, how when I asked somebody how they are, I really want to know. Uh -huh. I, well, I, I respect what, that. What's my answer, Jimmy? All the time. Tell the truth. What do I say? You know what I say? Oh, life bites or sucks. I would say, oh, I'm great. Have you ever heard me say that? I say, yeah, it all bites. Hey, tell the truth. Thank you. They had a psychiatrist on, I think, CNN years ago. So when you always say I'm good or I'm great, you're in denial. They said, tell the truth. I said, thank you. Listen, listen. I said, thank you. When you when you told me that you you even tell good-looking women what's really going on, the absolute truth, your situation. And you know what it reminded me of? When George Costanza went up to the girl in the diner and said, I'm unemployed, I live with my parents, and she pulls the chair up and says, where have you been all my life? Honestly. In other words, he just laid it. He just laid it all out there. Yeah, what are you doing here? I got evicted. My people forgot to pay my rent for a number of months, so I'm right. out. But I've everything's done. I'm going back in I, shortly. I don't know when. So I, I, I guess this, you're, you're ashamed of it. I guess this. Ashamed of it. I guess the skit meant honesty ends up winning mo well, well, most of the well, time. They were talking most about today the on a show. To a point, honesty is good. Sometimes shut up. But say, God damn it, you got some big fucking zit on your nose. Oh, you got a, what a schnozzle on you, man. Don't say anything. Your nose is so big. 
Oh. Well, some things you don't say anything. Yeah, you, you got you to be tactful, you know. Yeah, I mean, really. It's, it's, I mean, you can't... Buy. Oh, and of course, of course, there's crumbs and... No, you look fine. Don't say, yeah, you really do. Oh, yeah, if you tell your significant other, hey, chubsy upsy, yeah, you, you know, you put it on a way You know, use common sense. Yeah, hey, Sometimes it's best to say nothing. Sometimes it's common sense to try to help people like Eileen, and they will not listen. You know, there's nothing worse than expending energy to help somebody like Eileen. I'm talking to a wall. It just bounces off you, Eileen. You don't she, she never drove to Rochelle Park. I told you that. To welfare. I told you that. She says it wouldn't do any good. I said, how do you know? Well, which is, what's the Rochelle Park? The doctor or what? No, board, uh, Bergen County Board of Social Services. And what did the, the ambulance say? No, she did not. She never went. And, but she tells us, oh yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. Well, mom is supposedly going to be all right. My friend Jimmy Madonna's mother was taken to the hospital, Rose Marie, with pneumonia. Is she going to be okay with this bout of pneumonia? It's my friendship with her. This group of visiting home nurses that they're with for his mother. Are they any good? Dr. Reiser in Jersey. No good. Does Jimmy mother, Jimmy's mother need Valley home care? There you are. You got three in a matter of 30 seconds. What you have sucks. Your mother will be fine. You need Valley Home Care. Yeah, I told you what the Domin Dominican nurse does. Do Jimmy and his mother need to listen more to me when I give them, I hope, hopefully, good advice? Look at the spin, how big that guy. Look. You have no idea what I tell, what I tell my sister. Exactly what you tell me. Let me ask you something. Am I going to give you bad advice? Hell no. If I don't know something, I'm going to say what? I don't know. I'm I really don't know, out. James. I'll find out. Let me call Jackie and see what she says. Yeah. How many times have I told you that? You've always been 100%. I'm not going to lie to you. You've, you've, lie. you've always been 100% honest. I won't lie to a, somebody I don't know. I, especially listen, to a friend. Listen, you've always been that way. You've when always tell, been honest. When I tell you something, it's for your own good. And when you give her a, a dopey it's advice, it's for her own good. Too, it's for her own good. She won't listen. It all comes back to dad, doesn't it? You can't get through to people. I notice the Popeye guy cuts you off a lot when you try to talk. No, you no, no, he gets upset with me because I cut him off a lot too, though. You know, I, I said, I said, oh yeah, you said it. You called the home office. It was good for one day and I went back. What happened there? Ah, I said, what do you mean? Ah. Say, would you look at me cutting off Joseph? You know, a third Asian said, yeah, yeah, yeah to me. I, I, I almost, uh -huh. I almost felt like flipping out. You shut up with the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah what the fuck does that mean? Remember when he came over here one day and he got here? I said, oh, here comes yeah, yeah, yeah. Asian cold, Asian, Asian cold. cold. Here comes the Asian cold. Let's go sorry for sure. Jackie calls were rushing in though. Well, take your phone. What's here? Yeah. Don't do what Eileen does. Leave. She leaves her phone home. What a nincompoop. I said, what? Never, why do you have it? Why did you have oh, it? Oh my God. You know what? That gave me such a headache <clears throat> when she told me, she showed me she had an iPhone. She has a better phone than me. And she says, oh. I didn't bring it. I, I take my calls at home. Well, what's the point in Why? having a cell phone? Why? What? Take them at home. What is the point? Why not take your, your calls with you? Yeah, otherwise, why have a cell phone? The uh, Winchester and the Henry rifle. The two, two most popular. Henry's an old company. They they did a close up of the rifles on uh, I think Silverado. I think there were they. The guy says Henry rifle. He announced it. Beautiful rifle. You had that Western engra engravement in, in the metal part. Well, that was probably Hank Aaron. No, oh Henry, not Babe Ruth. Jeez. Baby Ruth. Baby Ruth was somebody's daughter. I forget who it was. You know, I think the Orioles should have really stood in Baltimore when Babe Ruth was young. They should have just. Yeah. You know, well, how's how they got the name the Mars family? Got the name Snickers. Dog, right? Dog's name. Of a horse? Family horse. 
Snickers. You said the Mars family? Okay. Mars Candy is the Mars family. Yeah. Come on, Jackie. Jesus, man. So let's go over before we head over. Yeah. And we send this back to them. Bringing this with you because I'm writing things down about your mom for Jackie, okay? Just kind of insurance for you. Okay, bring that with you, all right? Well, it, I, th I know it'll be a vast improvement if she switched the valley. Something. Something. I mean, you know, it's like... And, well, she's. Where, where's your mom? Hackensack or Valley? She's in Hackensack. You know what? You know what she got approved for recently? The um, they have a new a new line of pureed foods for the for the elderly. They have no teeth. Well, I'm sure they've had that. Come on, people have been without teeth yeah. for you, forever. You know, you know where they probably got it from? When, when my, my sister used to date this guy that was in station in Afghanistan, the military food comes in pouches. Like it'll say like, um, it'll say like Yankee pot roast or something, and then you open it up and it'll be pureed. It tastes good. That was great. I says, could you get this? How much could you get? I like this. He says, oh, I can give you all you want, James. He says, keep it coming, man. I, I ate it. I ate it for a snack. Come on, man. His name was Batmasters. Batmasters. Something. I, I know his name was Bad Bad Masters. Oh, that was later on. I even forgot the actor. Oh, that was a Bad Masters. It was too bad. Yeah, I like Richard Boone's business card. It had the chess piece, the knight. He was a gentleman. The so knight. Wyatt Earp. Who played Wyatt Earp? The original Wyatt Earp? Yeah, I don't know. Now, um, I know, I know, um, Robert Conrad was a, a federal marshal. Uh, 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 yeah. Now, what was Richard Boone? Was he a sheriff or was he a marshal also? I'm not sure if he's either. I think he was a gun for hire. He's a good guy. Oh, like a private investigator? Yeah, he's a good guy, yeah. Remember how, like, all you saw were a private investigator, a TV series? It was the 70s, right? So many. Ken was the 70s. Yeah. Ken, and then you had uh, Tom, Se Tom Selleck. No, that was more 80s, I think. Yes, yes. Tom Selleck was Magnum. Magnum P.I. With Higgins, the uh, he wasn't he was from Texas, you know. In real he, life, yeah. Yeah, Higgins, yeah. He passed away recently. He did. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, he just did a British accent really well. Oh, that wasn't his real accent. No, he's from he's a Texan. Oh. Um. Information you've already Be Beta O'Rourke, the progressive yes, candidate, he, he, he's a smart guy, the guy from Texas, uh, Beta O'Rourke. Yes. Beta O'Rourke? Really? I'm, I was listening to him, I go, man, this guy is sharp. He's like Avenatti, Michael Avenatti. Mm -hmm. They're going to have really bright futures, I, I, I know it, both of them. I don't know about bright futures, Avenatti's been a lawyer for over 20 years. Yeah. No, I mean, if he wanted to go get into politics, he can do it. Like, yeah, he's been around for quite a while. Yeah. He looks young, but he's been around. Yeah. Okay. They call him bad. Bad. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.